What happened when we started working on Hansel and Gretel is that Katie became very interested in the way in which we have inherited the Grimm stories and what our preconceptions might be about what a Grimm's fairy tale is. They were not really filtered or made more palatable, let's say, for a younger readership. They were absolutely really direct stories from the folklore of the surrounding communities, including some events and concepts which are really quite disturbing. And so she wanted to uh, look at including the brothers as part of the story. Uh, hence having the two brothers Grimm as the sort of opening double act. And that then they get sort of subsumed into the story through this machine called the confabulator, which they, are, which they think they're in charge of, which, but which actually swallows them up and is sort of in charge of them. <laughs> I suppose that the idiom we chose finally for the visual world was uh, a sort of illustrated book. So, for example, unlike most shows where you might make um, a shirt with a collar that was sewn onto it, in this particular show we would print the collar on to the garment. It was a, it was a big artwork job, this show, and uh, I was responsible for all of the artwork of these individual pieces. So the beds that the actors uh, used, which were freestanding beds, vertical, as if seen sort of from above, and pieces of scenery, windows and doors, for example. So I, I painted and uh, designed all of these. They were then translated by the props department into the real scale. Um, also, I designed the 3D objects, which included a mad musical instrument that was a, played a big role, and uh, the confabulator itself. It was the first show I've ever done that had glitter on it. It made me so happy. <laughs> I loved it. Um, so all of these uh, trees, you can just about see it in some of these photographs, had shimmery glitter, and it did really make it very magical, and I want to use it a lot now. I uh, don't get the chance very often. I think the outcome of the way the story was told was often a belief for the children that they would have the bravery themselves to withstand the fears and emerge, um, emerge sort of encouraged and changed and um, uh, with faith in their own ability to survive challenges.